Hey guys, it's Adam again. I'm here on my Carter Beaufort uh, replica kit. I was just kind of wanting to give uh, everybody kind of an update for the uh, 2018 tour that uh, Carter's using. Um, not very much has uh, changed for this year. Um, he's kind of stuck with uh, what he had on 2016. Um, I guess he's kind of liking, uh, him and Henry are kind of liking what they've got going with the kit right now, and so they've just kind of stuck with it. Um, I made a few uh, adjustments to my kit um, to kind of match. Uh, I've kept it up for so long, it's kind of it's kind of weird to me to not have almost you know the exact Carter replica kit that he's uh, currently using. So um, just give you guys a rundown. Um, I was fortunate enough to go backstage again um, to the uh, Arkansas show back in May. Um, I'm a good friend uh, of Carter's drum tech, Henry Lanuski, and um, he got me backstage and we uh, went and checked out the kit again. And uh, yeah, it feels pretty much um, identical to mine, but Carter's, when you're up there, it's like his kit is, I don't know, it's just massive when you're up there. And um, it, I don't know, it just seems a whole lot bigger kind of than mine. Um, this is kind of, you know, the view that you get on the camera that he gets, but this is kind of the view that you get when you're sitting there behind his kit. And I don't know, it just just seems a little more spacious and spread out than mine, but I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be to the T, you know, just like his as far as, you know, comfort for me. You know, he's probably got a few things, you know, set for him, and I've got a few things probably set for me, but for the most part, it's the same. Um, one cool thing, um, Carter is currently using the Ludwig Alex Van Halen uh, Signature Rosewood Snare. Um, that particular one is number 58 out of 100, and I ended up um, finding that snare for Henry. Uh, they had one, and he was wanting a backup, and uh, he couldn't find one. You know, there's only 100 of them. They're super rare drums. And um, I found one on eBay, and I got with the guy, and we talked it over, and then I messaged Henry and told him, and so he ended up getting that snare. And so the one that... Um, he's currently using uh it's number 58 like i said it sounds just beyond amazing it's probably one of the best snares i've ever heard carter use but uh it's pretty cool that i located it um you know it's kind of cool to have somewhat a little bit piece of the kit up there that kind of had a part with but uh that's neither here nor there but anyway um as far as my kit currently um not much has changed um, I went back to the 18 inch EFX crash with the spiral stacker. Um, I've got the 10, Carter's currently got the 12 inch spiral stacker. And this is the ZHT EFX, you know, Carter's got the A Custom. Um, I'll probably get an A Custom one day, but for now this one sounds just as good. It was really cheap. And the spiral stacker's on it. And You know, it gives a quick trashy accent, and then it kind of sizzles there towards the end. Um, got the flat rod with the splash on top, 6-inch A Custom. Um, still got the 22-inch K Custom Medium Rod, the 19-inch uh, Ultra Hammer China. Step down here, got the 14-inch A New Beats. Um, those redesigned new beats that Zildjian did uh, sound absolutely incredible. Um, they're classics for a reason. They got so much um, good chick, good stick sound to them. They sizzle just perfectly. They're just probably the perfect set of hats that you could ever ask for. Um, <clears throat> got a 8-inch ZHT splash. This one surprisingly sounds really, really good to be kind of a budget line symbol. Um, yeah, it just works there. Um, six inch Zill Bell. And this is my version of the Chinese Wedding Bell. It sounds pretty identical to Carter's. I'll give you a sample of it. And I lucked out and found this thing on eBay and it was in Japan. 
and I ended up messaging the guy and I ended up getting it and it sounds and looks almost identical to Carter's and I'm very glad to have that and what you do is you just unscrew the handle and then it just simply screws onto a cymbal stand and there's a felt there and that's how it's mounted um, got the 18 inch K dark medium thin crash the 19 inch K dark thin crash um, got the 21 inch ultra hammer china this thing is loud and um, Carter's pretty much using these as his I guess secondary main crashes now um, but for some reason they really blend well especially when you're at the Dave shows that's they're not I don't know how they have that mix but it just does not sound like a normal china it just blends in so well just basically a huge trashy crash and I love that thing um, I ended up getting that back when they were introduced from Zildjian I ended up getting that china for free because uh, I asked about Carter using it and um, next thing I know I had a box in the mail and that china was in the box so that's really cool thank you Zildjian that was um, I guess eight years or so now ago but uh, yeah I love that china it's probably one of my favorites um, got the 10 inch a custom splash it's been there for pretty much ever and the 6 inch a custom over the 8 inch K and then I ended up going back to the double splash stack a lot of people aren't too big of fans of this right now but um, it's kind of cool you know something different uh, Carter requested all of these splashes for some reason um, I guess he just still loves splash symbols but uh, he's got a 6 inch A which I have and then he's got an 8 inch A and this is a prototype uh, 8 inch Zildjian A flash splash and um, that's a great little splash there love it and he's got a 10 inch oriental china trash and I had one and didn't really care for it so I went up to the 12 and this one works absolutely perfect it's the perfect little medium between the 10 and the 14 um, it's just a excellent little accent symbol um, I also got um, a new uh, left floor tom over here this is a vintage uh, Yamaha Power V special it's a 16 by 16 and it looks just like a recording custom uh, I think Yamaha and Premier made these back in the day and I ended up finding it and got it for uh, dirt cheap and it sounds absolutely incredible um, got the 13 inch pearl elite timbali back here um, and of course the recording custom toms the 8 the 10 the 12 14 and 16 um, <clears throat> these are the shallower sizes that uh, Yamaha um, went with when they redid the recording custom line um, the deeper toms I had, they were just a pain to have to adjust and get the angles just right. And I really like these uh, shallower depth, the, the first three are the shallow depth toms, and I really like them. It's a 8 by, um, I think that's a 8 by 7. Yeah, I think it's an 8 by 7 or an 8 by 7 and a half. I can't remember exactly. Uh, that tom is a 10 by 7 and a half and that's a 12 by 8 and then um, still have the 14 by 12 and the 16 by 14 um, got a 20 inch stage custom kick um, it's 20 by 17 one day I'll have a recording custom there um, just waiting to be able to afford one one day <laughs> uh, snare drums my side snare Carter's got a pork pie um, I think it's a mahogany 10 by 7 this is a drumcraft 10 by 6 and it sounds amazing um, for a little side snare I honestly don't use it that often but when you do use it it's just a perfect little accent um, I think Carter used it on the new album come to um, yeah come tomorrow on um, Virginia in the rain you can kind of hear it there and so that's just a really good little accent snare there 
And now probably my favorite snare that I have ever owned and will never get rid of. And this is what the Ludwig Alex Van Halen signature rosewood is based off of. This is a reissue of the Tama 14 by six and a half uh, Superstar Rosewood. And this drum is just, it blows me away every time I use it, every time I play it, it's just the best sound, <coughs> excuse me. It is the best sounding snare drum I've ever used. Um, Tama reintroduced these, um, I think for their 40th anniversary and um, you know, Thomas said back in the day when they first started making them in the 80s, they were the most powerful um, wood snare that was ever made at the time. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It looks good. It sounds good. It is super easy to tune. And I absolutely love this snare. Um, got the DW... Um, what are these? The Machine Direct Drive Hi-Hat and the Machine uh, Chain Drive Double Pedal. And I had the 9000s. I've got them on my original kit uh, with my other band, uh, Crutchfield. Um, I used the 9000s there, but for this one, I really love how um, DW has the adjustments on these. They're so much easier to use. Um, I got these second hand, so I of course didn't pay the full DW price. That's just, it's just a, absurd how much these pedals are brand new. And um, I have loved them ever since I've had them. Probably will never get rid of them unless they break or anything like that, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, as far as percussion, um, still got the Travis Barker signature LP Cowbell. Um, I don't think they make those anymore. I think they, I think LP discontinued those. I'm not really sure why, but anyway, I got the red uh, LP jam block. I um, got the granite blocks over here, and the 72 bar whole tone LP uh, chimes. Those sound excellent. Love those. Whenever I do use them. Um, <coughs> Let's see if I'm missing anything. I don't believe so. Take you around to the front of the kit and look at it from the front and the side. <clears throat> and of course the Yamaha hex rack, which is probably the greatest piece of hardware that was I've ever used. Uh, that rack system with the Yamaha stands and the clamps, it just works so perfectly and it looks good with the stage lights. It has this finish on it and it well you can see how scratched up mine is but yeah it just works really good. Um, when you're up there looking at Carter's kit his is scratched to death just like this but it's just good signs of road usage and it stays together and it works perfectly every single show <clears throat> and view from this side that's how I have the double splashes stacked And I've also got um, the rims mounts on these drums. It just gives them a little more resonance. And uh, they, they do sound better with the rims mounts on them versus just through the shell. Um, some of these toms are the pre-yes and some of these are the yes models. There's some 80s and then there's some 2000s models. And I believe this was a, I believe this was a yes model and the 10 is a yes, and the 12, 14, and 16 are the pre-yes the uh, pre -yes models. <coughs> but that is a view from the front of the kit. And another thing that's been, um, I've seen a lot of drummers notice lately, is the 
Tom Rezzo's. Um, Henry has a coated, I believe it's a coated ambassador on the bottom of the 8 inch Tom now. And uh, when I asked him, he said it just simply sounds better. And that was um, what he said. I think it probably just gives it kind of a quicker note. You know, being a smaller Tom, you don't want it ringing that much. But all the rest of the Toms have the uh, Ebony Ambassadors on them. And, um, I've, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. A lot of drummers, they don't really like it since I've heard. But I think it's fine. You know, if it works for Henry and Carter, it works for whatever they're doing and here's a side view of this new Tom and aside from the badge and it's also a wrap it's not a lacquer but it looks pretty close to a recording custom and so that's the view from this side and one more Kind of from the back side. And snare drums. Um, I ended up getting rid of my Black Beauty. Um, and I ended up getting this. This is a Gretsch USA model of the Bell Brass. And this drum I use with uh, my band Crutchfield. Um, check us out. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, check us out if you'd like. Um, this drum is ridiculous. It is so loud and so powerful. Um, it just killed my Black Beauty in every way. And so I traded those out. And it's just a beauty of a snare. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got some videos of all my snares on my channel if you want to check those out. Um, this is the Ludwig Classic Maple Exotic um, with the Santos Rosewood finish. This is the same finish that's on the Ludwig Alex Van Halen snare. Of course, it's actual rosewood. This is actual maple with a Steinway uh, finish on it. Um, that's probably my second favorite snare. Um, it just sounds great. You know, Ludwig, they're classic. It sounds good at any tuning. Love that snare. And the Acrolyte, which everybody knows about that. Um, and that is a cheap pearl steel snare that my brother-in-law gave me. It sounds great versus just a cheap snare. It's really good sounding. And there's the 15 inch K that was up where the splashes are. And I've got a pearl sensitone aluminum with that's on their um, trailer with Crutchfield. It stays, you know, as a secondary snare. But um, anyway, I mostly just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick update on the... Um, Carter kit. Um, if you guys um, have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I um, can probably try my best to answer any questions you may have on Carter's kit. Um, I know there's a lot of people interested in it every year, what's changed on it. But um, this is pretty much the current version of what he's using. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.